So Stu and I were talking during the break, and um, I was reading the uh, Fareed Zakaria op-ed in uh, the Washington Post where he says everything economically is fine. N- no, it, it's, it's really not. It's really not. Uh, it's really not. We're, we're about to begin tapering with the Fed and uh, ending the bailouts and raising interest rates. That is going to be a shock to the system. Uh, and I, I wonder if we can get away with it. I wonder what is going to be happening next. We're also looking at a real crisis of the, um, uh, the supply chain. The supply chain is breaking down. And it's, uh, it's happening for a few reasons, but it is happening. I said last week, you should go do your Christmas shopping now. Do your Christmas shopping now. If you have little kids, it's going to be harder to find little kid things when everybody is out looking for little kid things. Now, warning, you're going to be accused of panic buying or hoarding. That's what happens when a nation has no answer. When people who are prepared because they listen and they observe... When those people are prepared, that's when everybody talks about how the hoarders came out and they took everything. That's just more class warfare. Except it's not about class, it's being prepared and not being prepared. Listening to the warnings and not listening to the warnings. The biggest problem we have in America is a deficit of truth. And we are all participating in it every day we're all either regurgitating things that are not true or we are the source of things that are not true or we stand by and let things that are not true stand and that has to be reversed How many of us are actually on the search every day in our own life, not news, in our own life, searching for truth? Most of us are searching just to keep our head above water. Most of us are just trying to honestly get to bed with the homework done and all the kids safe and just let me get to bed. That's basically what I think we do. If you're in the throes of raising children, you know it is a nightmare to raise children right now. It's a nightmare. Why? Because our foundation is rotten. When I say what's the foundation of America... What would you say it is? The foundation of America. What are the cornerstones? Declaration of Independence. Constitution. I don't think so. I think our cornerstones were God. Truth. And the vehicles that helped you find that, the Bible, your church or synagogue, when those things are strong, we don't need government because we take care of each other, because we do the things that we're supposed to do. You know, our churches are emptying out. Well, there's no way to... There's no way to be able to cover everything in our local communities without churches. Our churches help people. They feed people. They do all the things that the government will have to do if those churches become weak. But we don't go because, well, they don't say all the things I want to hear. And they make it tough. If you're not challenged when you go to church, 
you're going to the wrong place. Israel means wrestle with God, one who wrestles with God. We should be wrestling with the truth. Do you, do you pray for pure truth? Do you pray to be able to discern what's true and what's not? It, it has finally come to the day that I said to Stu, what, 30 years ago, 35 years ago, I said, there's going to come a time when you won't believe your eyes or ears. You remember that? Yes, although it was not 35 years ago. How many years? 25 years ago. 25 years ago. It's, it's still a little long. We haven't been together that long. I don't, I don't know you that well. Jeez. We've been doing the show for 20. Yeah. 21. Yeah. Yeah, but we worked together. and We were in Connecticut working together when I said that to you. Yeah, so that's a little over 20 years ago, yeah. Okay. But it's been a long time. So uh, we, uh, what I said was video manipulation... Audio manipulation is going to get so good that you won't be able to believe your eyes or ears. I've seen these uh, on Instagram. I've seen these uh, uh, Tom Cruise deep fakes. Yeah. The one with him playing the guitar, the one with him doing something in his backyard or something. And I, because they're not outrageous, I absolutely thought they were him. Just thought it was him. I mean, I didn't pass it on to anybody else or anything, but I was just flipping through, and I'm like, oh, wow, I didn't know he could sing like that. That's great. It looks exactly like him. It sounded exactly like him. And there was no, there's no way, sorry, I don't know why that happened. Okay, don't know. Your point has been approved. <laughs> That's where we have <laughs> a new you. system here on the show. Is, when yeah. Glenn makes a good point, it gives us a little chime. Uh, but how do you know what's true and not be in a society where you can't believe your eyes or ears and you can't believe your politicians and you can't believe your media and your media is telling you not to believe people like me? Why would you believe me? Unless you've been with me for a very long time and you know what I believe and you know how I act. But, but honestly, we'll get it wrong too. So, how do you know it's true? There is such a thing as absolute truth. There is. They're always eternal in nature. This is why, this is why that poem, The Gods of the Copybook Headings, is so true. Because the things that are big, we can't argue over policies right now, and that's what's happening. We're arguing over a spending bill. Well, why are we arguing about that? We should be arguing the bigger principles because those are the ones that are screwing everything up. We've forgotten all of the principles. We thought they were true. For instance, you have a right to lead your life the way you feel you need to lead your life. And nobody can interfere with that. No government can do it. State government can. You know, a state government could say, we're doing vaccine mandates. But the federal government can't. We're not talking about the balance of power. And that's what half of the country is talking about. When we're having the debate on vaccines, we're having the debate really you can't do that as a federal government, but we're not having that argument. We are not really truly debating the big principles, and it is the big principle that we have lost. And honestly, it's the only answer. Is this next election going to solve it? No. No, it's not going to solve it. Donald Trump runs... You know that you know you've seen that movie before. Donald Trump doesn't run. It's Rick DeSantis. Okay, are you not Rick? Ron DeSantis. Uh, 
what is wrong with me? Uh, it's Ron DeSantis. So R- Ron DeSantis runs. What do you think they're going to say? He's worse than Donald Trump. Of course. They okay. do it every single Republican presidential nominee. Every time. Every time. So it's not going to be solved. Because what's really happening to us is we have lost our mooring to the truth. We've lost the ability to even know how to seek the truth. We we have lost our moorings on the fact that there is even truth. It's your truth, my truth. No, that's not truth. That's your story and my story. The story of my life and how I got to where I am. The story of your life and how you got to where you are. That's your life story. That's not your truth. That's your life story. Truth is something you take your story and you put it up against and you try to reconcile them. And when it's out of line with truth, you know exactly what to fix. The truth is, we're all born the same. We don't have equal opportunities and we don't have equal outcomes. We should try and strive to make sure everybody has a similar opportunity. But you can't guarantee opportunity because some people are born into families that are, that are minorities and they have no money. But they have incredible parents. Some people have a lot of money and, uh, and are white and in the white community, but they have horrible parents. I'll bet on the one that has the good parents, and I don't care what color they are. I'll bet on the one that has the good foundation. That's, that, that's, a, that's an opportunity we can't fix for everybody. We have to hold some things as true and know that they're true. Everybody is born the same. Everybody has a right to speak their mind. Everybody has a right to make their own friends and be with their own people. Everybody has a right to publish what they deem news without the government interfering. Everybody has a right to defend themselves. You go into some place and you've got a bunch of people who have pipes. I, I have a right to survive the pipe fight. These are all basics. These are our foundational things, but they all come from eternal truths. Those eternal truths, we used to find them in the Bible. You can find them in nature. That's why it says nature's God in our founding documents. Find them in nature. But they are true. Recognize that and make sure that you are searching for pure truth. Go to the big things. Forget about the small things that we're arguing about in politics and look for the big things that build your foundation and then act on those locally.